My name is Adia Debutan. I'm a Paralympic medalist and a TV presenter. And I'm going to be racing across London from the original 1908 Olympic site to Greenwich, which is the uh, 2012 Paralympic and Olympic site. My name is Christiana. I'm a journalist and a transport geek. In today's challenge, I'm going to be taking on Christiana. All right. Christiana is a wheelchair user. She's using public transport. I'm using my trusty steed. Whoever wins will get to climb the O2. The travel planner of Transport for London says it will take one hour, 22 minutes to get from White City to North Greenwich. Well, I looked up online to find the fastest cycle route um, and uh, hopefully it is the fastest because if it isn't, I'm going to end up a loser with egg on my face. I'll be travelling using a mixture of underground trains and buses. I need to take two buses to find a wheelchair-friendly underground station at Earl's Court and then have to change lines at Westminster before finally finishing the journey to North Greenwich. Eddie, on the other hand, will travel solely by his handbike, using conventional roads and cycle lanes, taking on the heavy traffic of West London before travelling through Chelsea, crossing the river at Lambeth Bridge and then making his way along the roads of South East London before getting to the O2. I love to win, but I'm actually not so keen in climbing the O2, but I will do it. Christiana. Hi. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Yes, good. Now, may the best person win in yeah, this Yeah, all the best. Good luck. Your marks. Get set. Go. Later. This is a bit dodgy. Quite a lot of glass. What's up guys? So I always board at the back door. That's brilliant, he even got the door shut so nobody can get in when I'm boarding. That's brilliant. It's going to be a great test for my bike. The surfaces in London change all the time. Go from smooth roads to knobbly roads to speed humps. Thank you so much. Textbook bus driver. Wow. So I'm going to the bus stop now. That's not my bus stop. The bus stop is blocked by another bus. Okay, all people around me. Basically, I can't pass them. Luckily, the bus driver didn't let them on. Thank you. Flipping idiots. Cars are crazy. No one gives a damn. I need manual boarding ramps to go to Westminster, please. Yes, please. Which one me down? Which one? Oh yeah, okay. Lambeth Bridge, what's the best way? You know it's slow square. Yeah, is that straight down in it? Straight down there in it. I'm saying they're calling Westminster now. <laughs> Get some strange looks on this handbike. Um, I'm waiting for your colleague. He said um, he will get the manual boarding ramps. I would like to go to Westminster. To Westminster, please. To Westminster. This way. Oh, right. This way. That's this way. Now you've done it now. Now you know. Now you've done it, now you know. Could you could you push me? Because I've no no room to get up. Okay. Thank you so much. I'm okay, thank you. Leaving all these cars behind. Great bit of cycleway on embankment. I'm pretty shocked that um, that they have no clue how to put the ramp on the train. That should all be trained. And I think he asked someone who, who wasn't trained at all. Good old bus driver! Lambeth Bridge is the next one along, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cheers, Bella. Thanks. This can be tricky. Roundabout in London. Lambeth Bridge. Yes. Doing the Lambeth walk. Oi! In one year, with the Jubilee Line. Thank you so much. Ah. Can't get past this traffic. Yeah. Oh, this is mental. If 
I were a tourist, I would just ask a member of staff if there's a wheelchair accessible toilet. But I did this before at Westminster and all the time they always said, no, there's, there's no disabled toilet. But in fact, there is one. <laughs> Disgusting! Blackwall Tunnel, Woolwich. Oh, is it that way? Decisions, decisions. Kind of a little bit lost. So, is it this way? Is it straight or is it? I think it's straight. I feel this is victory. Well, I'm here. I wonder where Christiane is. Christiana, hello. Hi. Oh, do you know what? I was just halfway through reading Dostoevsky, <laughs> War and Peace. It's, uh, it's an amazing book. You should read it. Yeah, it took ages to get here. <laughs> well, my, my journey was interesting, but uh, I think it was 25 to 30 minutes less interesting than yours. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> and as I promised, one latte for oh, you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Cheers. What do you think the legacy of the games in terms of transport is? My personal legacy are the manual boarding ramps that opened up a lot of more stations in London which I can actually use. But I, I, I wish there would be a kind of second legacy so, so that Transport for London would roll this out to all stations which are accessible to the platform mm. and uh, not to the train so that you bridge the gap between the train and the platform. They could do this at much more stations. That How many stations are there with that? It's not, not in enough basically you're saying yeah it's only I mean only a quarter of the stations are accessible and a lot of the stations um, only have access to the platform and not to the train but I don't want to sit on the platform watching trains I want actually using them during the games um, also at the stations you had a lot of volunteers so games makers London ambassadors which are which were just there answering questions helping you um, and uh, yeah, we're just visible, so that gave people confidence actually to use public transport because they knew they won't get lost. There were just people who could help them. What was yes. the problem at Hammersmith? Well, the lift in Hammersmith is out of service until December. So um, even if I want to choose uh, or take the, the Piccadilly line from Hammersmith and change at Green Park, that wouldn't be possible because they have maintenance work going on. I have no idea what they're doing for six months, but it's out of service for six months now. Six months out of service? Yes. But during the games, Hammersmith Station was fine. Yes, all stations were fine. They even had kind of a um, yeah task force or whatever fixing lifts within uh, whatever thirty minutes or so. I, I never came across one broken lift during the games. So the solution is we need a twelve-month Paralympic Games. Yes, please, twelve years maybe. <laughs>